Martin Luther King commemorative broadcast this morning to celebrate the works, the life of Martin Luther King Jr. And then we had our season premiere, and now, hey, we're celebrating the birthday of the maestro, Phil. Okay, I got to get an update. Tuesday, <laughs> Nunez is in Wait. the house. <laughs> <laughs> I got look. I, I, you know, we say we say certain things here, and you know, I love the feedback we're getting. We have our feedback from chat. You know, the chatters online, but right. we have an on and offline chat. And the offline chat is people are hearing us say we're going to the restroom. So I want to apologize for the people who had to rush to the restroom and yeah, said it out I said loud. I had to pee. Yeah, but I mean, do you <laughs> really need to apologize? It's a natural function. <laughs> <laughs> you guys shouldn't want to use the restroom. Don't we have to do that no, anyway? I, I just want to say it because it's the courtesy. I'm, oh, all right, you know what? Wait, stop. We, I saw why you, you said You know why. Yeah. You know. But no, we're not okay. going there. You're not going there, no. right? I'm not. Okay. Do you want to say, who's the messenger? My wife. Thank you. That's why I'm that, not that, going thank there. Thank you. See, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad. It so, took her 30 years to train me. You think I'm going to blow all that training in one sentence? Are you crazy? See, see, I'm caught between I have to honor the show, but honor the woman who's in charge of you on the show. Ah, uh, are, are you, you must be referring to my management. There you go. Management, community manager, whatever you want to yes, call it. The, the boss, the pit boss, all of that. Yes, all, right. all of that. Okay. Amara, you feel good now, man? I you feel good. All right, good. We have another guest that's sitting in, man. But so before we go any further, Mar, I'm going to let you go ahead and just... Gird your loins. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has graced our show previously. A man who has been playing guitar, composing since the age of eight years old. Before puberty. <laughs> 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 he was writing and singing. I want to reckon, recognize our guest, jazz guitar, vocalist, singer, songwriter, composer, everybody. Dean Gresh, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You know, Dean, thank you. I love it. Tell them what's happening. First of all, you know, I got to say, whenever we put the call out, some people, again, in spirit, so quick to respond. Got to acknowledge and thank you always for making us feel special here. Okay, uh, and thank you for your prompt response, and so glad that you could make it here today. Oh, man, I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. The studio's looking very nice. <laughs> a few improvements. Yeah. You know, he, we told Dean that we were doing a special celebration of Phil Perry's birthday, and he volunteered to come down and be here at the studio. So we got to celebrate and point him out because he too is an artist who's out there doing his own thing, pushing himself, doing a lot. Of, take a look at his website, everybody. Got to see this wonderful sight, by the way, Dean. So we got uh, wow. it now that he's been in here wow. before singing. You know, it's Christmas. He's on our Christmas rotation. The guitars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's old, old Gil, but I do have some. Oh, the old Gil. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have a million. Don't, don't start. Don't Sorry. We, no, <laughs> hey. I took a look at the picture, and I, I noticed the guitar, and I wondered if it was from a certain manufacturer, so I had to ask him. As you can see, <laughs> it reminded me of an old Epiphone. That I oh yeah, have yep. That when was, I was a kid, I went, when I when I was buying that guitar, I was I would think I was sixteen, and there was the Epiphone sitting right next to it that I kept going back and forth. On. Yeah, uh, I believe me, I know. I, I and I love guitar. I just my my fingers just won't go to the right places, and I built up a little bit of callus on them, but I I. It was so much easier for me to compose from a keyboard perspective yeah, keyboard. than from having to play chords that oh, I, I couldn't really get to that easy. I can't make these. You can cut this finger completely off my hand, and it would not bother me at all. <laughs> wow. In, in, in terms of its musical effectiveness, it has none. Well, I usually have that problem with my voice. I'll hear a note, and when I go to it, it doesn't come out. See, there you go. So, so he get, he gave to the ones that needed it what they needed. <laughs> well, Dean, you guys has a latest project too, out there. Look out, right, Dean? Yeah, and I'm working on my next record now. Hopefully, it will be done May. Wow. So tell us about look. I look at these names. Eric Marienthal. That's yep. one of your longtime collaborators, yeah. right? Incredible musician. Yeah. Scott Eric's, Martin. Scott's amazing. Yeah. Hans Zermulen. Uh, Zermu Zermu how do you say? Zermulen. 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 And Andrew Carney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Andrew is amazing. 
Wow. And Hans, if you've, Hans has played with everybody from Frank Gambale to, uh, you just name it. I mean, Jeff Lorber, whoever. I mean, those guys are all just top notch. You got a video up here on your site. <laughs> Tell me about that. Is that there's, something we can uh, play a piece of? Yeah, and there's some other video. There's a there's a spot. There's a thing in there with about six videos. There's a, some live clips from Spagatini and some uh, ah, Spagatini, which, which, I, which I'm doing next next Wednesday night. Plug it. Come on. You know we say D pimp this video 20, on the 25th. I'm actually do, doing it by myself. I'm one of the first guys to go in and just do a Wednesday night, just playing and and by cool. my on my own. Wow. So wow. Well, I tell you what, let's take. Is there a piece you want me to predict? The play? Pass or the digital um, age? <laughs> God, I don't know. Is that first one? Can we play this one right here? Yeah. Let's yeah, take that's... a look. Dean Gresh, everybody.
Yeah. The sound of Dean Gresh, everybody. Yes. Take a look. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking talk. That's right. That's the best kind of talk. Fuck it, talk. So, Dean, wh while we have the opportunity, I, I, I need to ask you now, who not necessarily influenced you, but what are some of the guitar? Who are some of the guitar players that made you woodshed to master your instrument? Oh God, I, I'd have to say probably ninety percent of the people in L.A. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I do. Because there are wonderful players. Here. You come out here, man, and it's just like, you know, like I was over at Spaghettini's the other night, and a, and a, a smooth jazz guy, Chris Standron, was playing. He's a guitarist. Chris Standring, I know. I was on the road with him for a minute. And so, Chris, you know, and, and uh, I mean, there's just a million guys, and, you know, and uh, a fellow was standing there, and uh, he's, he's like, he's going, God, I just moved out here from Ohio, man, and I walk into this place, and every night I just see all these great musicians. And I said, because you get you have and i go chris where are you from well i'm from england bass player where are you from i'm from texas you know so i said this is what happens right everybody all the best players from everybody every all over the world come here the i i like to think of it as los angeles being the cornucopia of music excellence it, it's 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 amazing because you know? no matter where you grow up if you love what you do and you put the time in, you're going to be good at it. Yep. And usually when you be start believing that you're good at it, you want to see just how good you are. So you got to go someplace else. So you got to go where nobody knows who you are, that the yep. only thing that you have as a calling card is your integrity as an individual and how you play your acts. That's right, man. And walking into a town like this, if you can survive and, and make a career out of it, it's not an easy task. Dean, task, remind man. us where you're from. You're from... Uh, I'm from Northern California. Northern California. Sacramento. Where? Sacramento. Sacra Wonderfully yeah. exciting Sacramento. So, <laughs> I'm wondering, do you know Terry Haggerty? Have you ever heard of Terry Haggerty? Yeah, Frank Haggerty's Sons dad. Of, yeah. yeah. Totally, man. Yeah. Sons of yep. Chaplin? Yep. Yeah. He's from up there. Yeah. How yeah. Do you, wow, that's amazing. You probably know a keyboard player named Roger Smith from up there. I certainly do. Yep. I sang on his record. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's a tune on his first record. Called uh, I Only Want to Be With You. Yeah. That's a wonderful Dennis Lambert, Franny Gold oh, see, composition. I okay, I don't know that. You're going, you're, you're. He's a trivia man now. God. Dean. <laughs> you will find no, out. No, man, because I, I, because I make the attempt to compose, yep. my, my ear naturally lends itself to composers who I'm trying to become like. I mean, Dennis Lambert isn't a household name. Unless you know Motown. And if you know Motown, then you've read Potter, Lambert Potter, <laughs> probably on 60 singles that had come oh, out wow. on Motown. He's a single machine. Right. You know? And he's a, he's a wonderful cat. Very unassuming. You would never speak with him. You could speak with him for an hour and not know that he's what he guy. did. Yeah. He never blows his own horn. It reminds me of a statement that Miles Davis told me when I was a kid, because I grew up and happened to grow up in the same city he grew up in, that your horn never sounds as sweet when you blow it oh. as it does when somebody else does. Yeah, that's true, man. You know? Well, there's, I, I, I found all the, the greatest musicians I know are just the most humble, genuine, sweet people. That's why they're so good. You know, and the, and when you when you don't think you're good or you're aspiring to be better, then you're you know you're always feeling like oh God you know I'm thanks but I'm not. There.